Beggars Night and Halloween are just a few days away, and the Polk County Sheriff's Office wants parents to pay attention to where their kids are getting their candy. KCCI's Lauren Johnson shows us why you should take a look at the Iowa Sex Offender Registry ahead of the holiday. Before you head out this Halloween, you may want to give your neighborhood a second glance. And Iowa sex offenders don't have to identify themselves to trick-or-treaters or to parents on the holiday. There's no law that stops them from, from turning on their porch light and passing out candy. Polk County has about 892 registered sex offenders. Of those, 97% of them are in compliance. We've got two, two deputies that are assigned to the United States Marshals Service Task Force, and that their number one job is to deal with the sex offenders, make sure they're in compliance. The Sheriff's Office makes checks annually that all offenders are in compliance. Different crimes have landed offenders with different conditions. Some sex offenders must check in with law enforcement quarterly, while others only need to once a year. Either way, law enforcement says it's a good idea for parents to take a look at the registry themselves. The parents' job, they really need to go to that website, pull up that map, and, and know their neighborhood. For parents, it's pretty easy to look up their neighborhood on the sex offender registry. All you have to do is go on iowasexoffender.gov and click on search registry. First, on advanced search, go in to put your address or zip code. Then scroll to the bottom and hit search. After that, all of the registered sex offenders in your area should appear. I had no idea. <laughs> Callan Powell shares she plans to take a closer look at her neighborhood before her family trick or treats this year. She also plans to educate her kids as they grow older on areas and individuals they should avoid. Yes, you can shield them to an extent, but educating them as well, even if you're out with them or you know standing on the road and letting them go up to the door on their own talking to them about what's appropriate conversation and what's inappropriate and what to expect and if they feel uncomfortable to walk away. Reporting in Des Moines, Lauren Johnson, KCCI News, Iowa's News Leader. You can find the state sex offender registry at iowasexoffender.gov. The website is updated daily.